Hey, America, shut down and get a gourmet. I'm going to turn the TV off. I'm going to turn the TV off. Y'all recognize? Yeah. I'm going to do some good, and y'all going to remember that. Feel me? All right, so, <laughs> all right, we're making uh, um, split pea soup. All right, um, there's my peas. I actually had them soaking for two days. Um, there's a little bit of uh, the dailies bacon ends. Notice there's a fair amount of fat in there because I want to render that fat. And then here we have uh, just some... Uh, this is from Winko. I cut up like a third of a ham. Uh, mirepoix, onions, carrots, celery. Uh, this is also a very traditional, um, well, not traditional, but it, it, peas are cheap. If you get anything really inexpensive, it, um, um, back in the day, soul food is really inexpensive because that's what they had, had to eat. Okay, so um, uh, I talked about the spicing with soul food. Very simple, salt and pepper. Oh, I found salt. I forgot to buy it, but I found salt. It's my blue cheese dressing, my bad. I am going for... Somebody yell it out. You know what I'm going for. Well, that's right, I used all of it. Okay. I don't have time to thaw some more, so... We're gonna have to go... Butter. I wanted to use some of my clarified bacon fat, but I used it all up on a recipe that I made a mistake on. I used, I was making scone, I was making biscuits, right? Scones, biscuits, more or less same recipe. And I put in baking soda instead of baking powder. So it was basically a, a pie dough this big around and that thick. <laughs> hey man, and I'll probably put it up too. I, you know, if I, I'm not a man who, um, Says I'm perfect and I make mistakes. And um, I like it when people call me on my mistakes. Don't have to call me an idiot, just call me on my mistake. Um, and, uh, you know, because it's a learning process. The food is a shared learning process. We all have something that we feel about it, we think about it different. Rendering that off. I'm going to keep that going for a little while. Uh, the thickening that we're going to do here is something not everybody's got an immersion blender, which is one of these. I got this out of the dumpster, too. <laughs> Somebody threw it out. And uh, I think it's because they couldn't clean it very well, and then I got in there and cleaned it a little better. It needs a little better cleaning. I made beans with this last, so beans tend to stick a little bit. Alright. You guys are like, what is he doing over there? I've just cleaned up my immersion blender a little bit. Alright, so um We're letting that render, okay? Now we got a fair amount of oil on the bottom of the pan, okay? So I'm gonna start adding in uh, my next components, which are gonna be the mirepoix first. I want the mirepoix sauce, all right? Because when I hit it with an immersion blender, I want the mirepoix to, to, um, to be able to, uh, to totally disintegrate in the pan. Then, uh, all right, so I live in Eugene, Oregon, and in Springfield, Oregon area, and um, they're talking about the State of the Union, which is happening tonight, and they, they made like four different things about the State of the Union, and uh, they made four different statements about it. Let me get my phone in case that's important. Oh, it's in my pocket. And there's nothing but about a bunch of people is from dead. Uh, talking about my stuff getting stolen. I don't think anybody wants to come up in my house. 
Yeah. One, y'all don't know where I live. Two, if you get near my house and try to break in, my cat is an attack cat. All right, see, see, see this? See that? Is she a bite? And if that don't stop you, there's a death's head on my wall. And if that don't stop you, I got knives everywhere. And if that don't stop you, I'll just catch you on fire. <laughs> I'll just catch you on. I'll just catch you on fire. Throw you outside. Because I, I don't want to burn the stuff in my house. No, I'm just messing around. Um. All right, I'm just messing with people, you know. I am serious about um, don't come near my home if you got dumb thoughts. I had enough of that when I had four meth houses in a row years ago when I was trying to go to college and yeah, yeah. OG walking around with the with Glock, man. I'm not like that no more, man. That was years and years ago, and I walked away from my home. I gave up my. Oh, um, see how it's nice and rendering there. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in. I gave up my home. One month's rent, walked away from all my property, um, put my guns up, because I wasn't trying to live like that, man. I was trying to go to college, and it got so bad, and people got so stupid that they were, you know, they tried home invasions on me and stuff like that, and, um, yeah, they don't try that now. As Ender said... And I'm not proud about it, but um, the last person who tried to hurt me with a weapon, um, everybody in Springfield knows what happened to him because he's got a scar on him that's going to last for the rest of his life. And it's huge, and it's right in the middle of his face. Now, I wasn't intending to do that to him, but I was intending, as Ender from Ender's Game said, I wanted to win every next fight, all right? I'm tired of people trying to kill me. I've been firebombed. I've been, uh, it's all been racial attacks too. I've had like seven or eight racial attacks on me where it, it was straight up play a kill a nigger game, man. That's no, no fun. But I got to meet Roscoe Lee Brown when I had to run from town and go up to Portland. He's very, uh, he was, uh, he was the uh, head of the SNCC council in the movie King. He's also on the ER and uh, Cowboys with John Wayne, real, real famous actor. So what I'm doing here is I want to just put a little bit of caramelization on that, um, on that pork. Yeah, they burned my house down and locked, burned my trailer down and locked the door trying to lock me inside. They thought I was inside. It was a little three-year-old girl who saved my life. That's in my book. You all be able to read it. All right. I know you're like that wasn't very many peas. Oh, that's it, and then we're just gonna let it simmer for a while. Really wasn't that many peas. <laughs> so this is gonna be. I may just immerse and blend it a little bit, but the peas are gonna double in size. Um, cook down. Anyways, all right, here, let me finish. I don't want to clean while you guys are sitting there waiting on me. Um, I'm going to put a little um, salt, maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt, black pepper, half teaspoon of black pepper, okay? And um, I'm going to add a little thyme and uh, a bay leaf. Uh, just for my own, like, um, for my own palate, I want to increase the enjoyability of this just a little bit beyond salt and pepper. So I'm going to put in three bay leaves, or two and a half there, and then I'm going to put in a little pinch of thyme as soon as I find which jar it's in. You guys are like, what do you mean which jar it's in? You guys want to see? If you haven't seen for a while, yeah, I got a few spices and stuff, you know what I mean? And then look down, and all those are full. And then all that stuff. And then, um, I've only made halfway through this cabinet. And, and let's not forget all the Asian spices in that bottom drawer. But anyways, let's get back to what I was doing. I was doing time. 
and I've got it in one of these things. There it is. See my black peppercorns. Time. It's old. Yeah. Well, anyways. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let this simmer for about 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna come wand it uh, with my immersion blender. Uh, that's what that's the technical that's the jargon we use in kitchens. Wand it. <laughs> wand it up. All right, uh, half teaspoon of thyme. When you got dried thyme, it's always important to uh, let it seep in some liquid of some form. So let's say if I wanted to use this in a cream sauce. Um, it would have a hard time uh, uh, seeping into the cream, so I might put it into a little bit of water ahead of time, just a teaspoon, and then and then put the thyme in there and let it sit for just like five minutes, ten minutes until it starts to soak up the water and bloom. All right, and put that away. I, I like to give you a little extra about everything that I do. All right. Um, this could be lentil soup, by the way, too. Okay, it could be orange lentil soup. It could be. Um, this this right here it could be a bean soup. It, uh, there's so many things we can.